second way to use your calculator, it's the way that I prefer, okay, because it allows you to find your answer in either rational or decimal form. And that is to define a function that allows you to enter pieces of information and it'll calculate that information however you tell it to. Okay, so here's the steps for this. Let's go back to the home screen. Okay, just hit the home button on the right above the X. Okay, we're going to define a function and we'll call it slope. Okay, so step one is to choose define. Define is located under the F4 tab, other. And then just choose the word define. Okay, that tells your calculator you're going to define an equation or function. Step two is to give it a name. Okay, so I'm going to call this slope. You have to give it a name that's unique. Okay, it can't be something that your calculator is already uh, assigned an equation or function to. Okay, slope happens to work. So once again, if you use the alpha key and type in the word slope, if you tap the white key twice, if you notice up here on my display, the A shows up and then it's an A with a darkened box around it. Okay, that's an alpha lock. So now your calculator is locked into letters. So any buttons that you push, it'll just write the corresponding letter to it. So it might be useful to do that in order to type in your word slope. And so in that portion of it, you're simply going to name your function. Okay, give it some descriptive name. That will usually be helpful. All right, the next step is in parentheses, you need to define the order of inputs. Okay, so you're telling the calculator what variables you want it to calculate, and you're telling it which order you want it to be entered in. So for slope, the easiest thing to do would be to enter it as H1 comma K1. So you're doing the X and the Y coordinates of one point, followed by the X coordinate and Y coordinate of the other point. So if you enter in parentheses, oops, H1 comma K1, the comma is right above the 9, followed by H2 comma K2, and close your parentheses. What this means is anytime you enter your slope function, you're going to basically type the word slope, parentheses, and then you put the H1 coordinate, followed by the K1 coordinate, followed by the H2 coordinate, followed by the K2 coordinate. And now, what this alleviates is uh, the problem, one of those problems in the numeric solver, which is sometimes it's confusing to see which values uh, relate to or are substituted in for which variables. Whereas this, you just need to know. When you enter your points, you're entering it from left to right, x coordinate, y coordinate, followed by the next points, x coordinate, y coordinate. Okay, so you're telling your calculator what the order of inputs is. The final step is to set your actual calculation. So you're going to use the equals button. The equals button is right below the X on the far left. Okay, so if you set equals and then you type in the equation just like we did in the numeric solver. So the calculation for our slope was parentheses difference of the Y's K1 minus K2 close parentheses, divided by the difference of the x's, h1 minus h2, close the parentheses. So if I type in my calculation now, so k1 minus k2, divided by parentheses, h1 minus h2. Hey, I can now hit my enter key and your calculator should say done. That means it stored that function into your calculator. If you hit enter, it should say done. And now 
that whole function is now saved in your calculator. So anytime you type the word slope, put parentheses and then enter your four coordinates, close the parentheses, it will calculate the slope for you. And now, you don't always have to type the word slope. It's located in this var link button. So if you look right above the subtraction key and hit second function, subtract, you're going to have these folders here. Okay. If you scroll down, or again, you can jump to words just by pressing the key that is associated with a letter. So if I want slope, S is associated with the letter or the number three here. So if I just hit the three button, it'll jump all the way down to anything that starts with the letter S. So I can see that my slope function is defined in there. I can just hit enter and it'll pull that up for me. Okay, so the other thing, again, you can just alpha lock and type the word slope if you wanted to. Once you do this, if we wanted to confirm the slope of these two points, just start entering the coordinates of one point followed by the coordinates of the other, each one separated by a comma. So negative three, comma, one, comma, four, comma, three, close the parentheses. And when you hit enter, it should calculate the slope for you. If you've done everything right, you should get, what did we get, two sevenths for that? So if we hit enter, we get two sevenths. So I entered all of this, this whole function correctly.